Hello and welcome back to Tinker Talks Guns. Today we're here to talk about the Beretta Pico, a very small, very, very thin 380 ACP designed for deep cover, very discreet carry. Pico's been around for a while and um, they also have the Nano, which is a nine millimeter. Um, someday it would be interesting to do a comparison of the two, but I don't have access to a Nano. Anyway, the gun is designed to be super flat, super easy to conceal, and that brings some compromises with it. Um, the operation, like a Ruger LCP, which is similar in profile, is double action only. So every shot is double action. And it does have a hold open on the last shot, which is kind of a nice feature for such a tiny pistol. It has, uh, as I said, it has some compromises, but where they do not compromise is on the sights. The sights are actually quite good. The difficulty I have had is in taking adv full advantage of those sights, because in its stock form, at right about five eighths of an inch thick, um, including the grip, it's very difficult to grip the gun firmly enough to really get good control for people with larger hands and even people with smaller hands than mine. Now, this one has been fitted with a sleeve, there it is, which bulks up the handle considerably, and that is helpful. It's not really enough, but it's helpful. Um, shooting the gun, it's really, uh, the recoil is not at all unpleasant. And that comes in part because it has a Browning style tilting barrel mechanism. And the locked breech takes some of the sting out of it, as I often find in smaller guns. So it's pleasant to shoot. The trigger pull breaks at seven pounds and is reasonably smooth and fair, not too long. And, um, yeah, not at all an unpleasant gun to shoot. Let's take a look at it on the tabletop. As befits its role as a high discretion concealed carry or backup pistol, um, the Beretta Pico is quite small. It's just over five inches long and just under four inches tall. Comes with a standard six round magazine. And this is where we get to something I just do not like. It's the... The magazine release is ambidextrous, which is in its favor, but it's a lever that you push down and it's a bit of a pain for me. Maybe people with smaller fans will find it easier. It also, because the gun is so small, while the magazine will drop free, it tends not to because it hits my hand. So I would want to, in use, I would want to strip the magazine, which, you know, is not a deal breaker on a gun of this type. Um, six round magazine, as mentioned, quite good three dot sights, decent trigger pull, but again, very, very small. Now takedown is very easy and can be accomplished with the lip of a, or the rim of a ma of, of an empty cartridge case, because I've tried it and it worked, but I have a screwdriver. So what you do is you rotate this in the direction indicated by the arrow, 90 degrees, and the slide comes off. And that's all there is to it. You can see you have a non-captured recoil spring, but it doesn't really seem to want to go anywhere. So it stayed in place nicely when I took the gun apart, and the barrel is removed, as you would expect for a gun of this type. It uses a cam-type mechanism, and like later Browning, like later Browning style designs, has the uh, the locking lug is actually you know the the barrel hood, and there's really not a lot to see in here. It's well finished as you'd expect of a Beretta, and reassembly is as easy as taking it apart. You just Put the slide back together, slide it into place, 
And when you've pulled it far enough, this clicks up 90 degrees and locks everything. And your gun is ready to go. That is, of course, a stainless steel slide, which I believe is available with a black coating. Polymer lower with a steel interior subframe. Now, about the lock open on an empty magazine. It does, and that's great. But the, the, the slide release can be difficult to actuate. Now that I've said that, of course, I'm having no problem. But if you do have a problem actuating it, well, just slingshot the slide and it works just fine. There are various um, accessories available for this. I do not know if this came with the gun or was added by the owner, but there is an extension available for the magazine, which um, does not increase capacity. It's still a six round magazine, but it does significantly increase your grip and control of the gun and does make it rather easier to shoot accurately. On the other hand, it compromises the gun's reason for existence, which is maximum concealability. So, yeah, you know, do what you feel best and your mileage may vary. Ruger's little LCP 380 kind of sets the standards for guns like this. And while it is comparable in profile, it is thicker and I find it easier to shoot well. Um, on the other hand, this really will conceal noticeably better. Um, a lot of people will carry them in a belly band or in a flat pocket holster. And uh, because it is so bloody thin, it hides really well. But again, the trade-off is controllability. Um, I am sure there are people out there who find this gun perfectly fine in terms of controllability. Neither I, the owner, my wife, or anyone I know is among that number. Now, the gun did function well. I put a full box of ammo through it. Uh, this is, well, it's not unpleasant to shoot. It's not really a gun you're going to shoot for pleasure. It's not at all painful. The recoil, recoil is quite well managed. And uh, especially with ball ammunition, which brings me to another point. The owner tells me that this gun will not run anything but ball. It won't even run ballistic tip critical defense because they jam against the feed ramp. Um, polishing it might help. Don't know. Now, I didn't try to shoot it with anything but ball, but it did function well with ball for 50 rounds, with the exception of one time it kind of acted like it was going to hang up. It didn't, but the slide actually stopped at the back, hesitated for a second, and then chambered around. Kind of weird. But the gun kept running, so, you know, I guess it's okay. So, it's a very situational gun. It's like when you want something with a little bit of poop to it, but you absolutely don't want to be compromised as carrying in non-permissive environments work or other places where it would be awkward. Um, I think this is a really good choice. As I said, it does function. And while it is difficult to shoot well, I think that can be mostly overcome with practice. And it does shoot well enough just not up to the standard of a more serious, dedicated, concealed carry, everyday carry type of pistol. And honestly, as small as it is, that might be a bit much to ask of a gun with this mission, which is to stay hidden. Anyway, if you like the video, please click like and subscribe. Leaving a comment also helps YouTube notice that I exist and spread these videos to a larger audience. If you wish to support my efforts here, um, there's a link to Patreon in the description below. And uh, throw a buck or two a month my way. It all helps because these videos cost money. Everything does. Anyway, I hope this finds you well. Stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you again real soon.